Well, it is early. 4.56. Just got out of the truck. <laughs> we already got a bird goblin across. I think that guy's on public too, so he's on fair game. He's going off, but it is a cold one this morning. Uh, came up here last night. Got here like basically at midnight and uh, met up with Jeff and Josh, P and Wild. I'm tired. Well, good morning, guys. It's our first day over here with uh, Samung. We are in his neck of the woods, and we just woke up, and there's already a couple gobblers going, but this one's the closest to us, so target acquired. Um, my brother-in-law, Josh, is the first shooter. I'm gonna play cameraman for in the morning. Uh, Samung's playing guide, and that guy seems pretty fired up, so we're gonna go try to kill him. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> you ready to go? Right. Ready to go. Coffee in here. Yeah. Get the coffee. Unsurprisingly, all those gobblers, as soon as they hit the ground, they just went quiet. I think they all have hens and they're in the fields. So all those fields are private, so we can't make a move on them. But we're going to head back to our original plan that I had yesterday. This was just a last minute bonsai hike on this side because there was a turkey's goblin right by the truck. So now we're going to hike to where we originally were planning to hunt. Well, we relocated and uh, set up camp and then drove to a trailhead, more like a roadhead. And then we're just hiking down and trying to strike up a late afternoon gobbler. Spent most of the morning just moving, so it's been pretty uneventful for the past couple hours, but I know we're in bird country, so. It's only a matter of time.
Did legal bird? Did yeah. Legal bird. Why did he shoot? He, I don't think he saw him. Well, unless he wasn't sure. I, I have very good footage. There's he no saw beard. you. There, oh, yeah, he's, yeah. There's no beard. It doesn't matter. I has to have a legal bird. No. A legal beard. Legal beard or male turkey. That was a male. I thought it had to have a visual no. beard. Uh-uh. Or, it, was a, young Jake. it was a Jake. Yeah, young But he was legal. Unless was Jake. He? Unless Josh. Yeah. Because he was a Jake. I not know that, that rule. Unless, I thought it had to be a visual beard. Uh-uh. I guess we should have discussed this before. Yes, we should have. <laughs> Oh man, that, that was that was good stuff. Hey, that was progress. Yeah. Cause he didn't come in strutting. He just came in no, walking. Just walking. Yeah, he was just walking. So the first thing I saw was redhead. I was like, oh, this bird, he's this legal. Is dead. Yeah. No, he he went up that four wheeler road right there. You never saw him? No. Oh, dude, he walked up like five yards to the decoy. <laughs> that was progress. Are you serious? Yeah. So legal bird. It doesn't matter. Okay. If it's a beard, it's a legal bird. Yeah. If he doesn't have a beard, he's a redhead, you shoot him. Okay. I think that's why they have the feathered carcass rule, right? So you yeah, can tell because, which feathers because males. hens can have beards yep. and some males don't have beards. Yep. All right. Ah. Uh, yeah. So that was a legal bird. He was a legal bird. I would if that was me set up, when, I wouldn't have when shot. He, when he came up and his head was in the sun, it was like so bright. Oh, I was I like, got oh, good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like, This he's isn't dead. vibrant because I don't have it's not color coded yet because I'm just yeah. shooting on sea log. <laughs> I didn't even see those birds coming in. They came in from the other side and they came over on this other road over here. I didn't even see them. I was working on this bird up here, but one shot, two birds, group of jakes. Three jakes? At first, yeah, they're all three jakes. three jakes. But I was like, I couldn't tell if it was a jakes or not. Because at first I thought it was hens. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, wait. <laughs> and then I was like, nope, those red heads. And then you see the... Yeah. I was like, dude. Guys, you guys got to watch this. You guys got to like, watch this. I was like, take two of them, just smoked. Why didn't you shoot the third one? I was about to, Look but I, was like, I didn't want to swing over towards uh, him. Watch this. Gotcha. I punch in. Oh, it's on 120, so it's going to be a really long clip. Just, oh, just dog and, and, bolt. Yeah. and then look at this footage of the flyer come back down and land. I was waiting. I was like, and I was like, dude. He's that like, is so I was like, I was like, eh. good job, we dude. We gotta take a picture of that laying down. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. <laughs> just like that, tagged out. Just yep. like that.
<laughs> I'm like, you got two tags? He's like, yep. I was like, smoke them. Just walk like straight to him. That's I'm gonna so get some cool. clips like your legs. Now I should have shot because we would have had a triple. <laughs> yeah. Well, got it done. For me. Got it done. We uh we were set up on this bird goblin behind us. And he, he started gobbling. I think he's walking the road away. He might be circling around us. I don't know. But there's this road that goes from behind us over here. No, dude, we and we had three jakes walk over and walked right up to Ava. And Josh just put the hammer on two birds, two jakes. Good eating. Have you done this before? Yeah. yeah. You do the, add the rest. Just three grams in. Like <laughs> twice. Uh, okay. the yeah. email. Yeah. You all work for right. like, Assuming it's just like a goose. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> rest, like literally just the same email. incision. <laughs> I talked about that. Spread <sighs> Fry bread. Who's ready for the next one? So good. I'm ready. Whenever you, whoever it is. So good. I'm not even kidding, dude. That jalapeno adds a it's way better extra kick to it. Yeah. All right. Looks like chicken fried steak. Drove up to the gate we're gonna hike in this morning, and yesterday when we were hiking back to the truck, we located two gobblers heading to roost. They were gobbling. We just arrived. We just heard one, but. He gobbled once and I was doing stuff so I couldn't pinpoint his location, but I'm just gonna stand still and just listen to see where he is. The rest of the guys are on the trucks, they're just packing up and stuff like that, so. First light, already into birds, so. Oh dude, there's another one like way up this way. That guy's far. They're gobbling their heads off. But anyway, today we're gonna split into two groups. So it's gonna be myself, uh, Pat and Bob, that's one team, and then we're gonna have Josh, Jeff, and Zach as the other team. Yeah, he's up here. So, maybe we don't have to hike as far as I thought. I just asked uh, Bob if uh, Team B, because we're the A team. Oh, there's a Tom. Uh, if Team B doubles, if he'll sh drink a beer out of my extra, my extra tough boot, he said okay, <laughs> confirmed? Yeah, probably should have got my booster shot first. <laughs> but I'm down. It's Let's on, do it. it. It's on Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Was he going to shotgun the beer? Out of the boot? It, it, does, boot. it doesn't if matter you, what we're doing. Oh, out of your boot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, your if we double, I'm going to chug a beer out of Jeff's stinky boot. Yes. Yeah, it's just confirmed. <laughs> I'm watching that. Dude, it's going to happen. Chug oh, boot. yeah. It, it,
most likely, yeah, if he doesn't have a hen. Dude, he might come in, dude. Let's just sit. It's probably a good setup. Let's just sit right here. <coughs> Hopefully, he comes up this ridge. He'll come up it. He could come up different angles. So, just be ready to shoot if... He's, he's, he's coming. Ah, he's coming, dude. Sound like a mature bird. He's probably two year old, three year old. He's a Tom. I don't think he's a Jake. Okay. So we have that bird we're set up on, he's fired up. We got like three more across to our left, but in order for this Tom to come up to us, he has to come up a really steep embankment and through some really thick stuff. And he's like pretty far out there. So we're gonna hike down the ridge and try to close the distance. See if we could coax him in.
Bobby. That's what I'm talking about! Yes! Yes! yes. Yeah, buddy! We worked yeah. hard for that bird! Oh my god! We worked so hard! Oh, you gotta go get him! He's flopping way down! Like, he's dead, he's dead! Just, you just gotta go pick him up! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, Bobby! That's why you beat Persistent right there! Oh my goodness! Good bird, too! He fought way down! <laughs> What the heck? He's way down, dude. He flopped way down. Oh man, that was awesome. That was awesome. See him? Right here. Huh? Oh, right there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, oh my. It's a good bird. It's a good bird. He's a good Tom, dude. A good old long beard. Whoop. Yep, yep, let him. You jelly head, dude. Look at that freaking beard! <laughs> Look at this. Heck yes, dude. Oh man, I'm jacked. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh man, that's a good bird. He's a good bird, dude. That's a really good bird. Do you see him? I love how he gave us one last show before you shot him. Oh. Oh. Guys, today. Yeah. For me, as a quote-unquote guide, it has been one of the most frustrating days of turkey hunting ever. So this is Bob, like, your first time spring turkey hunting? Uh, I've done it once, but nothing was Once. Legit. Okay, so this is like his first, like, true spring yes. turkey hunt. This morning, <laughs> uh, it was me, Bob, and Pat, but then after we had that crazy gobbler to shut up on us, uh, Pat actually had to go home, so it's just me and Bob. And so we hiked up to this road, and gobblers were dead silent nothing was gobbling and so I, I told pat i mean i told bob i was like hey man like there's there's these constant waves of where turkeys go off and then they go silent they pick back up again they go silent so when we got up to that knob it was just silent we couldn't locate any birds so we sat there for what like an hour ate breakfast just chat just enjoying the sunshine yeah just enjoying it's beautiful this. out yep and after chatting for a while bob's like hey uh, I think we should start turkey hunting again. And I was like, I gotta go use the bathroom. <laughs> so we both go use the bathroom. I think, did you? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we both go. And as I'm as I'm heading to the bathroom, I hear across the ridge, I hear a faint gobble. And I'm like, I gotta finish business quick because this bird's going off. So sure enough, we hike over to the ridge and so we can hear this ridge and sure enough, this bird's going nuts. We get to a little turn. We basically called him in. We didn't know he had hens. We called in a hen. The hen ran like 10 yards in front of us. You oh, she say. was at least 10 yards off the yeah. barrel. She takes off. The gobbler, instead of following her, she go, he goes up this like, like just a random clearing-ish road. Mm -hmm. He's up there gobbling. And so as he's gobbling, there's another gobbler gobbling on this ridge. And I thought he was right here. So I stopped over there. I crow called. Boom. Right above us. I startled him. So we hike up the ridge. We got below him. We start calling. And I think the original bird started going off but then he was headed the wrong way and at this point dude, i was like i don't know what else i'm supposed to do and so i told bob i was like hey like let's just let's let's just sit down let's just take our time we'll see if any other birds start sounding off you go to take a bite like two bites of your apple mm -hmm. i take one bite of my burrito this guy just lit up just lit up my mouth is full i look at bob we look at each other and i'm like leave everything just <laughs> grab your gun we're gonna kill this bird right now so we hiked down. I didn't even throw Ava down because I knew he was way too close for me to go and put the decoy down. I looked at it. I was like, he could come from below us. I don't think he's going to do that. So there's one little like five yard lane. Tiny and I was like, little window. tiny window. I was like, if he's coming up, he's going to come up that one lane right there. So Bob just sat behind a stump. I sat right behind him over the shoulder camera footage. And after sure a while, enough, he did exactly drumming and spinning, yep. drumming and spitting. You, did you hear him drumming and spitting? I did. That's yeah, exciting. Did. Oh my God. Because when you hear it, pounding. when you hear it, you know, they're like right there. Yep. Yeah. I saw him come and he came around the corner and he gave like one last show, did the fan dance. And then he was like, what's over there? And I ah. just had a split second. Yep. To, boom. Yeah. And rolled him. Rolled it. He, we shot him way up the ridge. He's almost down by the road. Good old long beard. That's a nice tom. Dude, I just love how he, he was ca cautiously walking in looking for us. Yeah. And then I thought you were going to have to shoot him because I thought he was going to pick us off. Right. But then he just fanned out everything. Oh, I'm man. like, oh, 
don't shoot, don't shoot, let him finish. And then as soon as he poked his head up, I was like, take him. Yeah, if you hadn't said that, I think I would have shot a little early. Yeah. Because I had a shot, but it was like, okay, let's let him work uh-huh. it a little bit. And he yeah. worked it. Uh-huh. And then he stuck his head up and bang. Yeah, that's what you want because if you would have shot him with fan out, you would have blew off his fan. Oh, good so, call. Yeah, so I was like, don't don't shoot yet, don't shoot yet. Yeah. And as soon as he poked his head up, I was like, okay, he sees us shoot him. Mm-hmm. And you freaking nailed Dude, him. it worked out perfectly. Dude, that's persistence right there. Yeah, it is. Beautiful bird. Sucker's oh heavy my. too. Oh my goodness. You Fun made stuff. that. Thanks again, dude. Dude, no problem. So awesome. Let's go up to our bags. Our, our hard work's done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let's go get some more though. We have a couple more tags. Our friends have tags. Yeah, we gotta go help them out. Yeah. I'm gonna call it. Jeff in a bit here. Okay. Your gun's right there. I can grab your gun for you. Oh, Alright. Well, it's 1.40 p.m. and Bob's tagged out, so we decided to come down to the creek, grab some water, refill our water bottles because we had nothing better to do. Uh, we ain't got tags, so we're waiting for a team to get back over here, which maybe on the way back they heard a gobble when they're setting up on a bird. I don't know, but we're just sitting in the shade, so I, I'm not complaining about this. You know, we got the hard part done, so you know, just pretty content with where we are. Just kind of have a yard sale with our pack and eat food and. You know, just do chores. That's what we're doing. Hopefully when they come back, uh, we can get Jeff or Zach on a bird because we still have a lot of time. 1.40. We have until like 6 o'clock. So like two, four hours. So that's the goal. We'll see what happens when they get back. What's up? It is a long day of turkey has ended, and we are down to the grill portion of the day. Uh, it's just going to be cheeseburgers, hot dogs, a bubbly for Cy, uh, some sour cream and onion chips, and that's going to be the nightcap for that. So And barbecue chips. And barbecue chips. Got lots of barbecue chips. Uh, it was a great day. We had a, we had a good one. Um, unfortunately... We just had, uh, actually it's not unfortunate, it's still a victory. We had one Tom hit the dirt, um, my group, uh, Team B in this case, uh, we came out in last place. I've been calling you Team A. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Team A, Team A. Uh, we came up a little bit short. We had two amazing encounters, uh, realistically. Um, we had a Tom that was super, super interested in us, but just would not close that last little gap. We had a perfect setup. Everything was just right except for him. Uh, maybe our decoy played a, a fair shake in that where he just saw the decoy for too long and realized um, that it wasn't a hen getting smoked out, so I'm blinking. Um, and then the second setup, <laughs> I'm, I can't see. <laughs> second setup, uh, everything went great again. It's just that Tom did not want to close the last 30 yards. And then after that, it was really just a, a quiet day. So we had most of our action, I would say, from like 9 to noon. And then after that, just kind of slow. Uh, even on the way back to the truck, we didn't hear much. We just heard one kind of off in the distance. Um, and that's really it. So, But uh, it was a great afternoon, and we are back at camp for the best part of the day, which is dinner time. Right, Bob? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's over there taking care of his bird. Uh, we're going to do dinner and then hit the sack early. We're going to be up a little bit earlier tomorrow to be able to hike in there and get into position when they're still roosted. I think maybe uh, sleeping in just a little bit maybe hurt us, uh, but that's all right. We're going to recover. We still had a Tom down. It was a great day. Any day spent in the turkey woods with good friends is always a great day. We'll yes, see you guys sir. tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. You made it this far, so you're to the giveaway part, the best part of the video. Uh, we're going to be giving away this uh, Camp Zero cooler on our channel on the PN Wild YouTube channel and Samong is going to be giving away this Camp Zero cooler on his YouTube channel. Samong, what is your YouTube channel? Uh, Samong Outdoors. I'm sure you guys already know of his YouTube channel now that you're watching this. If you guys are not familiar with us, we are PN Wild. You can head over to PN Wild uh, YouTube channel. Uh, be sure to be subscribed, like, and comment on the last part of the video series to be entered in this. Samong, how are you giving that thing away? You doing the same thing? Like, same. comment, subscribe? Yep, same thing. All right, so each and every one of you guys have two chances to win either one of these coolers. Who knows, maybe the same lucky person could win both. Uh, but to win, just to clarify again, you have to like, comment and subscribe to each of our channels 
to be a successful winner. Good luck to everybody, and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.